Welcome back to my kitchen. This is Sugar with Sugar in the Attic Homestead. I am here early this morning and I'm making a chicken stir fry freezer meal. A lot of these items have come from the prepper pantry and so I'll go through and tell you exactly what I'm putting in here and how to cook it a little bit later. So the first thing I want to do is have a Ziploc bag that's freezer safe. You can get those. Uh, they're different kinds, so be sure and get the kind that goes in the freezer. It, it helps not to have freezer burn. So you just put the chicken in the bag and you start to dump things in. The first thing is dried onion. I put about a fourth of a cup of dried onion in there. We love dried onion. It's easy. It's quick. You put a can of corn that's been drained. Just dump that in. And you can add any vegetables you would like. You can take away vegetables you don't like. This is your freezer meal and your family, whatever they might like. This will feed a family of four. You can put it in the crock pot. You can put it in a wok. You can put it in the oven. You can put it in the frying pan. If you're outside, you can put it in a Dutch oven. Just add some water. The next thing I have is a can of peas and carrots. They're diced carrots. And I'm just going to put those in here. Just dump everything in. Then I'm going to add a little bit of liquid aminos. Or if you have soy sauce. Again, whatever your family wants. It is very salty. I will not add any salt and I will not add any pepper in here. That is to be added later to taste. Then, just for something different, I'm going to add some little bear honey. Probably about a tablespoon. Just to make sure. Have something different in there to offset that liquid aminos. Take all the air out of the bag and then I just toss it around to make sure everything is mixed and it's mixed well. Then you lay it flat in your refrigerator and when you're ready you take this out and defrost it or you can put it right in a crock pot or in a, a frying pan on the stove. Put the lid on and put your frying pan on medium at first. I would add just a little bit of water at the bottom, but not much because this is all frozen. And let it simmer about 10 minutes. Then adjust the heat to where you're going to be able to cook that chicken, stir occasionally, and watch it so it doesn't stick or burn, things of that nature. But it's very simple and easy. When you get home, you don't have to worry about mixing things together. You don't have to worry about where do I find these things. It's all in a Ziploc bag. It's a freezer mill. You take it out and it's ready to go. Well, I appreciate you stopping by my kitchen for this quick video on freezer meals for a family of four. Now, if you have a couple of men in your family, this may be a freezer meal for two people. You can add chicken, vegetables. This can also be served over noodles, over rice, to stretch it out. These items came from the prepper pantry, prepper refrigerator, and prepper freezer. So stock up on these meals so they're easy to fix, especially in this busy season coming up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please take a moment and do that now and make sure the bell is lit up. You don't want to miss any of the videos coming up in the, new, the very near future. In the comments below, let me know and the, also the community members know what type of freezer meals are you making for your family so you don't have to work as hard when it's dinner time. I appreciate you stopping by my kitchen and I'll see you soon.